What's happening guys? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Ruben and today I will be sharing with you the top uh, 6 stocks that I will be purchasing for the next month or so and just give you a breakdown of each company. Before we begin, just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor nor am I providing any financial advice. I'm simply sharing with you what it is that I will be doing in the stock market for the next month or so. If you do want to make an investment, please understand the risk that you are taking. You can make a lot of money and you can lose a lot of money. So please research what you invest in. So basically, I'm back on the Easy Equities app. It's 5 to 2. Happy Freedom Day to you all. When I'm recording this, it is Freedom Day. Um, basically, in terms of future investments, one of the stocks that I will be investing in um, is Pioneer Foods. If I can just search for it here. Let me first spell it right. Pioneer Foods. Here they are. They've been established since 1920. For those of you that don't understand, Pioneer Food, Foods is a leading beverage producer and distributor in Southern Africa with an annual turnover of 20 billion rand. So basically, Pioneer Foods has a brand portfolio which includes trusted brands such as Wheat Bix, Lucky Fruit Series, Sasco, Safri, Speco, and White Star. Um, so all of us are going to need food. Uh, most of or majority of the stock that I will be mentioning here today is food. So with regards to that, the Pioneer Foods is my uh, pick for the week ahead. For the last month, they haven't made any gains or any losses. They are still flatlined. And for the last six months, they've increased by 1.4%. With this stock specifically, um, I will be purchasing 10%. So everything you mentioned, uh, considered 100 Rand. So I will be putting 10 Rand into Pioneer Foods. And here's a short description of who these, uh, the, who these guys are. They also have uh, Moors, Marmite, Bovro, Red, Red Row, and Verda. Its essential food segment brands include Select Rice, Nice Rice, Pasta Grande, and Bluebird. So, my first pick is going to be Pioneer Food. And for the simple reason is they are an essential product. I don't see coronavirus going away or a vaccine coming into the picture anytime soon. So, for me, my main pick will be uh, food and essential goods the second food or second stock that i'll be investing and again this will be at 15 ren of my 100 ren so so far i have spent 25 ren and this is called quantum quantum foods here they are so quantum foods again quantum foods has fully integrated egg and broiler business with access to superior genetics in both fields the feed producing units has state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities and strategic alliance with an international company to ensure cutting-edge technology transfer. Quantum Foods has an annual turnover of over 4 billion rand. So basically, they have currently priced at 3 rand 65, buying at 3 rand 65 and selling at 3 rand 25. Um, for the last month, they've grown at 10.61%. For the last three months, at 1.39%. And for the last six months, they've been in decline. So um, I do think these guys will increase once uh, market or once markets do begin to open up slowly in South Africa. But yeah, this is my second pick. Again, 15 Rand in the stock. If you want to find out more about them, uh, again, just come down to the description below. And you can read everything that you want to read about them. Uh, as an introduction, I just want to say Quantum Foods Holdings Limited operates feed and poultry businesses that provides animal protection to selected South African and African markets. So basically, they all over Africa with regards to poultry. Um, and yeah, so that's my second pick, which is Quantum Foods. The next pick that I have over here is basically grouped into three uh, or four companies. And it, they've been making a lot of noise around social media for some reason. I read about it on Facebook when I did my research about them and thought to myself, hey, this is actually something that I've been looking at for the last week or so. And basically, 
I would rather just tell you guys what makes up this company. So, or oh, what is the name of the company? Sorry, let me just go to the company, and this is called Zeta Investments Limited. Zeta Investment Limited. They do um um uh they are involved in alcohol. So if you aren't a person that's interested in purchasing anything related to alcohol, I think just do your research. I think Zeta also is involved in some uh alcoholic beverages. So basically, al uh Zeta, not alcohol Zeta, is basically part of an investment group. The company is engaged in investing agri business industry with a focus on food and beverages sectors. Its segments include food beverages and related services, agri related retail trade and services, agri inputs and agri production. It holds investments in Pioneer Foods Group Limited. So let me tell you about Pioneer Groups Limited. Um, I mentioned that at the beginning, they had an annual turnover of twenty billion rand. That is the stock that I was going to put ten rand into. The second one here listed is Zard Holdings. So Zard Holdings uh, operates in specialized agri inputs industry and currently owns, develops, imports, and distributes a broad range of agri seeds in Africa, Europe, and other international emerging markets. Through agricole, Klein Karoo seed marketing, and her brothers Barker, it has a proud history spanning. More than fifty years and currently exports more than hundred countries. Its portfolio of products and geographic mix have been structured to mitigate agri cyclicality. The specialized agri input market and particularly the pr proprietary hybrid segment remains attractive, and Zard is well positioned to benefit from it. It has an annual turnover of one billion rand. So that's Zard. The second company is Capespan. So the Cape Span Group is an understood group with a history spanning more than seventy years. It has annual turnover of over five billion rand and has op and has operations in twelve countries, providing services and produce produced to more than ninety one countries across four continents. That's your Cape Span. The next one is Quantum Foods. As I mentioned earlier, Quantum Foods. Quantum Food had a turnover of four billion rand, and they the guys that are. With the chickens, uh, your eggs and your poultry, and AgriVision Africa, AgriVision Africa, uh, located on the Zambian uh, copper belt. Uh, basically, it's an investment company company focusing on the grain value chain. It has two in main investments: AgriVision Zambia, and company focus on the acquisitions, development, and management of large scale commercial grain operations. So, that's AgriVision. Of my hundred rand. Basically, the twenty five rand that I was going to invest in two separate companies actually gets covered by Zeta Investment Limited. So, if you would want to invest in all small companies in one holding, then go to Zeta Investments. But I myself am only going to invest thirty five rand into this year. So basically, of my hundred rand, I have already spent sixty rand. And I hope you guys do your research. As you guys can hear, I'm reading. Off of uh, my laptop while I'm recording this on my phone, just so you guys know how to do your research. Like, have your phone open, run through the companies on Easy Equities and see if they're available, and then research them, understand them, see where you can buy them, what's happening with their turnover, who's the CEOs and stuff. You have to do your research. Keep doing your research. The next company that I will be investing in for the next month or so, uh, with. Forty rand left over in my account. Um, I will be putting my money into gold. Any ETF or any company that's used to gold or works with gold, I will be investing in gold. Yeah, I click the ETF for new gold. Uh, new gold up fourteen percent for the last uh, month. Up forty two percent for the last three months, and up fifty percent for the last six months. Gold, I will be spending thirty rand on gold. Solid thirty rand into gold. This week, the pricing of gold. Um, I've done my technical analysis with regards to gold. Gold does look like it's going to drop a bit. Um, so I will be entering towards the end of the week, possibly Thursday, uh, to purchase gold. And then with my last ten rand, uh, ten rand, I just want to buy something that's fun, something that I can enjoy, and that there will be born. I love. I love properties. Um. And as you can see, they've actually dropped down. So they're down forty percent for the last three months. 
I know there's a rule of not catching falling knives, but I'm I'm a fan of uh, property. I'm still waiting for easy properties to drop. If you guys want to see a video of easy properties, let me know and I'll get to make you one. So basically, this was a video suggestion from a comment on my previous video. What should I be investing money in um, or any penny stocks? Uh, from the list that I've just given you, a penny stock would be uh, Bowen, although they're a big company, they are around the cost of a penny. And also Zeta. Zeta is a penny stock. Basically, they're priced at about 187 cents in terms of a penny. Uh, they're normally on the same price as a penny stock. I know they're not a small company, as is the true definition of a penny stock. But in terms of what a penny can get you in stock, this is one of them. So guys, thank you so much for clicking the video. If you want to see another one, please let me know. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a great week. Cheers. Bye.